Good morning, folks. Today we're going to talk about nucleate boiling. Uh, apparently there's been some um, activity on the Nine Barista blog on calming the waters for our boiling process. Uh, I took their advice and uh, scuffed up the uh, coil and the bottom of the upper chamber here and it has made a world of difference in the quality of boil I get from this machine. So I'll take you through that today, along with a couple of other details. Thanks for joining me again. Here we're looking at the coil of the Nine Barista, and hopefully you can see the surface of it has been scuffed up. Nine Barista recommends using a 120 to 180 grit sandpaper. In my case, I used 150 grit, and I also used a spudger for uh, iPhone repair to get the sandpaper down in between the coils a little bit um, rather than just going only across the surface. Additionally, I roughed up the lower surface of the upper chamber as you can see there at scratch marks and uh, again use the spudger to get that sandpaper well in underneath the coil instead of just going around the edge. Folks, it's really important that before you start scuffing up the bottom edge here, or the bottom surface, that you get rid of the o-ring because you don't want to scratch the o-ring. The easiest way to do that uh, is to put pressure with your thumb and forefinger and just push it around until it pops up like that and then you can peel it off. Doing it like that, you don't have to use some sort of sharp pry tool or a pick uh, to get it out, um, and uh, you're less likely to damage the o-ring with the uh, pry tool as well. I've got the o-ring back on there, and with that back together, we'll move on to the rest of the process. Um, trying some different beans. These are uh, uh, pinion coffee roast from uh, New Mexico. Uh, a good friend of mine turned me on to these recently, and that's right in at uh, 20 grams. Also, I already have the water filled up, and it's right to the recommended uh, guideline on the inside there. I've also got my uh, lovely Porlex Mini, and you may notice that I don't have the uh, rubber uh, grinder arm holder on it. I got rid of that because I didn't like this uh, part right here. I figured that'll break sooner or later. Um, so instead, uh, I attached a neodymium magnet with some high strength glue right there, and it just hangs on like that. Perfect solution for me. Let's get busy grinding. Grinding is done. I have my funnel from Orphan Espresso. This is not a push through funnel, so uh, I do have a particular procedure for that. Um, which is just to roll it around the edges there a little bit and capture all the coffee down in the basket. And then before I remove the funnel, a little tap to uh, release any grounds that are stuck to it on the sides. Comes out fairly clean. Got a nice press and put in the retainer. Very good to go. Now, uh, nucleate boiling uh, apparently is having to do with uh, roughing up the surface. Um, water boils more smoothly if it has small surface imperfections on the device to uh, uh, allow these smaller bubbles to form. So um, again, since I scuffed this up and have tried it a few times, I've been very happy with the results. I'm getting way less bubbling out the uh, chimney and uh, uh, in general, I'm able to increase the heat on the stove to get a more quick boil um, uh, in line with the nine bar east recommendations of around six and a half minutes or so. Um, and uh, 
actually getting a pretty good cup of coffee out of it. So uh, it, it's changed things if you're at all concerned about taking this apart and scuffing up the surfaces um, because you're afraid you'll ruin it. Um, that has not been my experience here. And I, I don't think that they would make the recommendation on their website uh, for you to do so if it were at all an issue. Um, and I will include a link um, in the description below so that you can go to their website, see their wonderful description. Um, a lot of math and other stuff involved that are way over my head, so I won't even bother trying to explain it. Um, but what I can show you is uh, during this video here later, it seems to work. So we're set up and ready to run. I've got the timer set up and we'll hit the stove controller. Uh, it used to be I was somewhere closer to uh, just below 8 in order to prevent all the bubbling and, and uh, water blowing out. Hit start on that. Um, now I'm a little closer to 9. That's uh, electric stove so I don't have the precise heat control that I would with a uh, gas stove, but um, what we'll see once this starts to boil is that we get a much smoother boil uh, sound on the inside and um, again even at a higher heat temperature uh, for my stove I'm not getting the water spitting out. So we'll cut back in once this thing starts to do its, its job. So we're right at three minutes in got a nice little simmer going. Three and a half minutes. And I'm not adjusting the heat any. The uh, machine is doing all that on its own. We'll see. I'm getting a little bit more volume out of it and a lot more crema in the carafe at the top. And we're just at four minutes when that slows down. So let's see what the pour looks like. seeing here is a uh, much quicker boil, um, four and a half minutes overall uh, until I took it off the stove. Um, and, uh, and yet even at that higher boil rate, um, you know, I still didn't have water just spitting out of the chimney like I used to. Uh, I'm still obviously working on dialing in my stove so I can get the exact right temperature on that um, to stretch this um, process out to six, six and a half minutes as per Nine Bar Easter's recommendations. But um, what I'm finding is that uh, after um, putting on the uh, sandpaper, you know, getting those nucleation sites, um, I have a uh, much more consistent boil. Um, I'm getting a little bit more volume of coffee out of the, uh, um, out of the craft. Um, the, uh, the coffee actually tastes a little bit better um, there's a, a lot of other science going into that that I don't truly understand, but um, I'm, I'm a little bit happier with it. So I think this is a uh, change that if you're interested in doing, um, you can affect it on your machine without any issues. Um, and you'll see some uh, positive developments from it as I have. Thanks for watching.